everybody, welcome to another episode of Hot Wheels TV. This week we have a brand new 2017 G case. It is February and we're already into the G's. So let's open her up. We got the old trusty fishing knife. And again, we want to thank our friends at AJToys.com for sending us the case. And uh, these guys are always on time with their stuff, and we really appreciate that. So if you ever need anything Hot Wheels related, make sure you check them out. Please, great bunch of people. Let's see what we got in the G case. And right off the bat, um, look at that, Treasure Hunt. Yeah! The Hot Wheel Pursuit is the Treasure Hunt for the G case. And uh, it is black enamel. It's got gray fenders on it, gray, actually a metallic gray base. It's got PR5s, black PR5s with a red chrome rim. And it is got the sheriff logo on it. Very nice. And of course, remember, there are no numbers, no collector numbers on the treasure hunts or the supers for 2017. Here we have the fast gassing, and we found that in our last case with the Union 76 colors, and I think this thing looks amazing with these colors. The 67 Chevy C10, and it is candy purple with some five spokes on it. Um, the Super is supposed to be this one right here with, of course, real riders on it with rocket wheels. So um, maybe we have one, maybe we don't. At least we got the treasure hunt though. Let's see what else. Oh, we got a recolor on the emoticar. And it is yellow plastic with a metal base. And it has five spokes on it with a, uh, a blue top and an orange little emoticon guy in there. The flash drive, now that is a new casting, and that has the new swirl wheels on it. It is orange enamel metal base. It's got black plastic on it and uh, the very dark gray plastic parts on it too. The Chevy Blazer 4x4 in green metallic. It's got yellow and red stripes on it, and of course it's got the large gold chrome uh, off-road B-locks on it. The Hot Wheels Ford Transit Connect in the uh, Pizza Express that is done in a really nice purple pearl metallic orange interior and a yellow tinted window. It's also got all small wheel OH5s on it with a yellow rim. Here is the Sky Dome, and that is a new color also. Uh, yellow metal base. It's got, um, I want to say probably a rose pearl front fenders, and a yellow plastic centerpiece, yellow interior, and a, I don't want to say it's a smoked window or canopy, but it's a uh, it's pretty dark tint. Here is the 2015 Jaguar F-Type Project 7, and that is in black enamel with um, very dark gray Y5s. The Morris Mini in um, candy apple blue, very dark candy apple blue. A chrome base on it. It has white uh, wheels and tires. Well, actually, white tires with um, black outline PR5s, all small, all the way around. And it's got a smoked window and a light blue scoop on the hood. Light blue interior also to match the scoop. Here is the Dragon Blaster and that looks pretty cool. I like that. It is a very light pale blue pearl and it's got purple wings. These are transparent purple wings. I got to remember that um, these wings a lot of times are um, either very transparent, very clear, or very cloudy. 
and this one right here is very very clear you can see right through them it has a metal base and it has gold thigh spokes on it very nice Ooh, the monster delivery and that is in a new color it's candy apple blue it's got a lime green base it's got orange plastic on the sides for the suspension and interior with a an orange tinted window and that is very nice it's got gray OR6s on it with the multicolor chrome rim here is the rig heat and that is the same as the last time we saw it it is a dark blue pearl uh, body it's got a green plastic cab and this is the new style wheel on it with a yellow rim and a flat black metal base. The 2016 Camaro SS and that is in a very very metal flake silver I don't want to say metallic because it's um, a really heavy metallic which would make it a flake and it has a plastic base on it, black plastic base it has MC5s with a red chrome rim on it and black interior and a very dark window, smoked window. Here is the Time a Taxi and that is done in a lime green enamel. It's got gold, no these are gold, um, MC5s on the front and black MC5s on the back. The Chrysler 300C in a very dark charcoal metallic with black stripe on the hood and the roof. Very large, the bling style PR5s with a uh, chrome rim on it and a very dark charcoal, plastic charcoal base. Perfect speed and that is done in a white pearl plastic. It has purple OH5s on it. I guess that's, that color is chartreuse. I would call it like a pink, but the actual color is chartreuse uh, metal base on it. Here is the Aristo Rat, and that is done in a lime green pearl metallic. Black plastic base, got gold five spokes on the back, gold skinnies on the front, and uh, a very dark gray, like the bluish gray box in the back. The winning formula. Now I like the way they did this. It's a butterscotch yellow. It's got a black plastic base on it. It's got white PR5s. It has a, I want to say brown center section and driver. The way the tampos are, it says Hot Wheels on it and uh, it just, it, it looks great. I like it a lot. Here is the 2017 Acura NSX and that is done in a mustard yellow enamel and that has a black plastic base. It has very dark gray trap fives all four corners the interior is black plastic and the window is very dark smoke and that looks really really nice I like the detail that they did to this one um, the headlights the the grill uh, the tail lights very nice the street stealth in orange plastic body it has a gray plastic chassis but the the base the bottom base I don't know it's kind of kind of weird it looks like everything is plastic but um, it looks a lot a lot different something we're gonna have to have to look into uh, here is the Zotic all right now I have always called this the Zotic and of course my my dear friend Chris Walker um, always writes me and says hey that is Zotic, short for like exotic. So, and I keep forgetting that, but now I remembered. So, Mr. Walker, Night Stalker, uh, 
thank you for reminding me, letting me know, that this is Zotic. And it is done in a lime green enamel with a black plastic base. It's got white wheels and tires, and they are the um, Trap 5s outlined in black. And by the way, Chris Walker and I will be together um, at the Hot Wheels Nationals this year in April in Pennsylvania. So if you're going to be there, make sure you say hey. Because, uh, you know, when he and I get together, man, <laughs> hope you got bail money. But, you know, we always have fun. Another of the Blazer. And here we have the Batmobile, and that is done in a dark gray, uh, frosted, dark gray. Maybe it, not as much as a charcoal, but it looks like a textured dark gray. It has the dark gray PR5s on it and a blue window. So keep your eyes out for that. Might change. You never know. Let's get rid of that. Here is the Lamborghini Veneno, and that is in a green enamel, a lime green enamel, just like the Zotic, and that has black PR5s with a white rim on it. It has a black interior. It looks like a smoked window also with a black plastic base. That's pretty cool. I like that. I'm not one for exotic cars. Exotic? Zotic? Aha. And another of the 67 Chevy C10. I wish that was the Super, but, you know. And here, again, we have the 1978 Dodge Little Red Express Truck in powder blue. It has five spokes, all four corners, gray interior, gray stacks, and a chrome base. And the custom Ford Bronco. This is done in orange enamel. It has a pearl blue roof on it and roll cage. It has uh, mustard yellow, white, blue, and black tampo on the hood and, of course, on the sides. It also has a uh, pearl blue plastic base on it, which is much darker than, than the roof. It also has white beadlocks, all large wheel beadlocks all the way around. And here we have the aisle driver, and that is uh, a shopping cart with a little yellow guy hanging off the back with a gray base and black OH5s with a yellow rim. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of custom stuff done with that one of these days. The Lamborghini Countach in the Tuned series, and that is done in a red enamel. It's got chrome PR5s on it, and that looks nice. And it has a red plastic base also. That looks really, really cool. I like that. Very, very nice. The BMW M4. And man, I have no idea what color this is. It looks like a, a really, really blue pearl. A lot of pearl in it. A lot of metallic in it. A lot of pearl in it. Very light color blue. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't know what what you would call it. Um, it's got Y fives on it all the way around. It has a gray interior and a dark tinted window, smoked window, and a black plastic base. We have the Corvette C seven Z zero six, done in yellow pearl and black interior and a very dark tinted window also with a dark charcoal base, plastic base. We have the 68 Mustang back and that is done in blue enamel. It has a black plastic base, big monster, supercharged, dual quad, big air cleaner, engine sticking out the hood, got side pipes on it and uh, it's got black PR5 with red chrome rim, very dark window, and a gray interior. Um, very nice car. Very, very nice car. Here we have the Chevy Silverado. 
And that looks nifty. Nifty neato. It is in a semi-gloss black. It's got pearl blue stripes on it. It's got pearl blue stripes on the roof with silver on the hood. Oh, a silver one on the on the rocker panel also. And it has light blue chrome uh, OH5s, large, all four corners, all large uh, OH5s on it. Gray interior, dark gray, and a clear window. And a dark gray plastic base. And that looks very nice. Very, very nice. That could even be parked in my driveway. We Another of the pizza delivery guy. I'll take mine with uh, sausage, please, and mushrooms. No anchovies. Hold anchovies. Another of the BMW M4 in that color, which I have no... You know, I want to say that that is a frost... An early Mopar color uh, would be a frost metallic. Now, I know they had a lot of frost colors back in the Mopar days. Uh... But that looks like a frost metallic blue. I'll have to look that one up. I want to say late 70s Mopar color. And here is the Mountain Mauler. And that uh, has a really light pearl blue chassis to it. Uh, and I'm, what I mean by chassis is the suspension, the roll cage. Uh, Oh, and the engine. And the base itself is a teal plastic. The body is white pearl. And it has gray. The tires are gray. The beadlocks are gold chrome. They're small beadlocks, all four corners. And uh, the inner wheel is also gray. The night shifter, and that is in red enamel. It has a black plastic base. It has black OH5s on the back with a yellow rim. It's got chrome PR5s on the front. Chrome engine in the front, chrome engine in the back. Kind of like a mullet, right? Business in the front, party in the back. Um, boy, I haven't seen mullet. You know, I did see a mullet. I got I to gotta say that I did see a mullet a while back. Uh, and the guy was driving an El Camino, too. I was in South Carolina, and it was there. So... They're out there, guys. Still out there. And if you got one, cut it. Cut that mullet. All right. So, uh, it's got tinted window and 03 tampos on the side. Oh, look at this. The head starter. That is so cool. It looks like a little Indy car. Go-kart, maybe. I don't know. It kind of, kind of a go-kart on steroids. Got a big old monster motor in the back. And it looks like something came out of a, a I don't know. <laughs> looks like one of them old Ford uh, side oilers. This thing is huge. Man. But it's cool. Got a red plastic body on it. It's got a flat black metal base on it. It has gold five spokes. And a little driver in there who is gold. And that is nifty. Kind of cool. What else we got? Oh, we got a recolor on the rig motor, and that is done in a very dark red, maybe even a, a, a maroon satin. It has gray tires and wheels, of course, um, and they're PR5s with a black outline on them. The engine is black tint chrome. The interior is black tint chrome. It has a black plastic base, and... Uh, white and silver tempos. We have the Tarmac Attack in red enamel. It has a teal base. That's aqua. Got an aqua base on it. It has black OH5s with a yellow rim and uh, a little aqua driver. We have the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. And that is done in uh, white enamel. It has dark gray beadlocks, small ones, all four corners. It has black and green tampos, a dark gray plastic base. Nice. 
And we have the Turbot. I haven't seen that one in a while. And that is done in uh, a yellow enamel. And it has some chrome on the sides, chrome engine, um, black plastic base, black PR5s, all four corners, same size, with red chrome rim. Ooh, look at that. The Aeropod. SWAT team in red. Man, they're going to see them guys coming, huh? Ain't no way you're going to gonna hide that SWAT team. Red plastic. It's got a metal base. Got some black plastic through the center. It has red chrome bead locks and a blue tinted window. And uh, it's got black accents through the body. Man, that's nice. That looks pretty good. Oh, 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 oh. look at this. 32 Ford. We haven't seen this in a long time. And this is amazing. Wow, look at that. Red enamel. Engine's hanging out of there. It's got chrome five spokes. Big ones in the back, little ones in the front. It's got flames on it. It, it, it's it's chopped, it's got a black plastic base, and I am definitely in love with this coupe. This thing is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Fair Lady 2000, and that is in a, I want to say that's a green, a mint, something like that. And, of course, that has the new Steely wheels. I've been calling that the Steely 8, S-T-L-8, because it's got eight holes around it. It's got chrome rims, and they're all the same size. Small ones, small Steely 8s. And it has black interior and a smoked window. Another of the Tarmac Attack. The Volkswagen Kafer Racer in black enamel. Got a red base on it. It's got yellow thigh spokes. And it's got some really cool tampo on it. It's um, orange and yellow. And uh, looks nice. Very, very nice. Another of the Mountain Mauler. Same as before. Second verse, same as the first. And the Porsche 934.5. Really? 0.5? Very nice. Uh, this nice casting. Oh my goodness. White enamel. It's got dark gray BBS wheels on it. It's got a dark gray plastic base. Very dark window, and I really, I mean, the window is so dark, I can't tell you what color the interior is on this thing. So I'm going to say red. I'm going to guess red. And see something through the, through the inner fender wells. Um, yeah, looks like a dark red, maybe maroon interior. So we'll find out later. And another of the Porsche 934.5. Why didn't they just go with the 6? Or even a 4? Leave it at that, you know? But hey, I don't know. Nice. And the last three in the box. And the box is empty. And we have another of the head starter. Another of the emoticar. And another of the aisle driver. And that is it. We did get the treasure hunt. We didn't get the super. Um, but that's okay. You know, I, I prefer to get all of the variations. That's the important thing for me. Um, you know, I get questions all the time. Uh, you know, I want to get the super. I didn't get the super. You know, the amount of time that you're spending to get a super, go buy one from the second secondary market, you know. Um, I've never been really too excited about them. Um, my thing is is the variations. People ask me, "Yo, oh, what's the what's the expensive car?" I don't know what the expensive cars are. I get, I have to get one of everything. Uh, you know, if I knew what what were going to be worth a lot of money, I I'd, I'd be a rich guy. But you know, 
uh, don't collect for money. Put your money in the bank if you wanna, you know, you want want to get your money back later. Um, Cause I know there's no way I'm gonna get my money back out of my collection, but I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it, and uh, I do it because of the passion. I love what I do. So uh, don't worry about finding a treasure hunt or a super treasure hunt and getting all upset and arguing and fighting over that stuff. That's 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 crazy. Enjoy the hobby. Have fun. So that is it for this episode of Hot Wheels TV. I want to thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. Please share with your friends. Please leave us a comment below and um, give us a thumbs up. And please be kind to one another. And uh, let's stop with all this political stuff I've been seeing on Facebook. All right, let's get back to what it's supposed to be. Let's have fun with our hobby and, and all the stuff that we do. So until the next time we meet, we'll see you at the pegs. Bye-bye.